have never been so close to landing on my face while walking a dog than I was with Dylan, a young and totally out of control Great Dane. So he earned the number three spot on my list of top ten difficult dogs. For the three years prior to young Dylan's arrival, Jilly's life was grand, with her husband Ashley and her two Great Danes, Digby and Harley. When Dylan joined the pack, the other two dogs turned into terrors. Stop it! It was immediately clear to me that Jilly had no control over Dylan. Hey, 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 hey! Sorry, 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 no, no. I'm just in shreds, and I don't yeah. mean um, my clothes. You know, my nerves yeah. are in shreds. I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. It was time to get this situation under control. Jilly first took me for a drive with the dogs to show me just how crazy it gets. <laughs> Absolute madness. I can't do it, man. Shut up! Barking I have to mad. Drum left. Barking mad. First, to help with mouthing problems, I taught Jilly how to communicate the way another dog would. Yelp. Yep. Fold your arms. Just walk away very slowly. I then taught her to discourage his biting by stopping all play when it happened. See, he's not interested at all. Then, to tackle the driving problem, I completely blocked out the dog's view and only let them peek outside if they remained calm. No. Wait for a couple of seconds, and the curtain goes back again. They got the message fairly quickly. Good boy. Good boy. Really, really good. Lovely boy. When it came time to work on Dylan's reactivity toward other dogs, I decided to use a head collar for control and a muzzle for safety. <laughs> Lunging, walking the other direction. But he started reacting very strongly. Walking in the other direction. He's lunging. Fat. It was 20 minutes before we were able to greet the other dog. So, I just say hello to the puppy. Say hello to the puppy. Oh, it's OK. But when we did, it was a true breakthrough. I'm going to take this muzzle off right now. I cannot believe that Dylan's walking with another dog. It's a sort of barrier broken through almost. Later on, the training continued by taking Dylan to other places and exposing him to things he may encounter in the village, <gasps> as well as to other dogs for a little more practice. Ooh. Say hello. One of them even wanted to play. Oh. Look, be gentle, Dylan. You're a good boy. Oh, oh, it's love at first sight. She's like, oh, come on, chase me, chase me. She's a proper <laughs> female. <laughs> then, feeling prepared for the ultimate test, we headed back to the village. No reaction. Good boy. Enjoying the calmness that would now be the norm on Jilly's drives with the dogs. Walking through the village was a sharp contrast to anything Jilly and Ashley had experienced before with Dylan. From a village menace strong enough to go after anything he wanted. Let him greet right now. Great. There you go. Good. Say hi. He had been transformed to a very gentle giant. This is Good a massive progress. step from what it was. To see Jilly take Dylan on a walk in the village was such a joy. Most recently, she and Ashley added to their brood, bringing home a new spotted Great Dane named Boris. I hear that he and Dylan have become best friends.